safe implementation of various projects and activities under the good governance program. Do you confirm this? I don't have knowledge of the uh, request, Your Honor. Uh, I only have a copy of the um, letter. Can we please flash again the physical and financial plan? At least, Ms. Villa del Rey, please confirm it from the document from the office of the OVP. It says, safe implementation of OVP. I cannot read anymore. Would you know, Ms. Villa del Rey, if during the time of Vice President Robredo, there is good governance program also? Yes, Your Honor. And under Vice President Robredo's good governance program, may kasama po ba doon na maintenance of safe houses? Wala po, Your Honor. Then can you please enlighten us? Bakit po dito sa good governance program ni Vice President Duterte may nasamang maintenance of safe houses under confidential fund? I'm sorry, Your Honor, uh, wala po akong knowledge doon sa disbursement and utilization ng confidential funds. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that although both Vice President Robredo and Vice President Duterte. Congresswoman Luistro, maybe we can ask uh, Attorney Sanchez because I noticed that uh, her name was included in that uh, document. Ms. Sanchez, Attorney Sanchez? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Do you, uh, do you confirm that Vice President Robredo has good governance program also? Yes, Mr. Chair. Would you Robredo. confirm that under Vice President Robredo's good governance program, there is no confidential fund? Yes, Mr. Chair. And would Honor. you further confirm that under Vice President Robredo's good governance program, there is no maintenance of safe houses? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Please enlighten us. Bakit po pagdating sa programa, same program, good governance program of Vice President Duterte, biglang nagkaroon ng confidential fund, biglang nagkaroon ng maintenance of safe houses? Your Honor, uh, the Budget was proposed by the office. Details, Your Honor, I do not have uh, information on the specific uh, details and items to be spent under the confidential expense. Would it Your be Honor. correct to say that the key officials of Vice President Duterte altered the menu of the good governance program of then Vice President Robredo? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, I, I think that would be a, a possible explanation, Your Honor. And are they really allowed to alter the program? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, from my understanding, Your Honor, um, yes, uh, that may be allowed because uh, in the budget of the OVP, there is a general uh, item, Your Honor, only, which is the good governance program. In other words, Attorney Sanchez, that good governance program is just a nomenclature. Uh, it's like and as to w what will be the menu under the good governance program, that will depend on the Vice President. Am I correct? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, that is my understanding, Your Honor. And who therefore prepared the program of the good governance program under the time of Vice President Duterte? Uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor, uh, that would be the office of the Vice President, Your Honor. Can you please mm -hmm. cite the name? Who in particular among the key officials prepared? Uh, Your Honor, I, am, I do not have the specific information on who the particular uh, persons who prepared, but the request was submitted to the Budget Division, Your Honor. Nevertheless, Mr. Chair, in spite of the admission of Attorney Sanchez that they can alter what is clear, the program good governance under Vice President Duterte suddenly include confidential fund and maintenance of safe houses, items which were never seen 
and which were never included in the program of Vice President Robredo. Am I correct, ma'am? That is correct, Mr. Chair. Another important observation, Mr. Chair, <clears throat> Attorney Sanchez. Last quarter of December 2022, OVP spent 16 million for maintenance of safe houses. Do you confirm? Uh, I have no personal knowledge, Your Honor. May we know if any one of you has personal knowledge about this? Ms. Villa del Rey? None, Your Honor. Nevertheless, let me finish this manifestation. 2022 last quarter, the OVP spent 16 million for maintenance of safe houses. This was followed by 2023 first quarter, another 16 million for maintenance of safe houses. This was followed by 2023 second quarter, another 16 million for maintenance of safe houses. And finally, 2023 third quarter, this time 5 million maintenance of safe houses. The only conclusion that I can derive from 2022 last quarter to the third quarter of 2023 Meron kayong informants or assets whom you are keeping in the safe houses that the OVP is renting. The question, however, is why suddenly, pagdating ng last quarter ng 2023, wala nang expenditure for safe houses or not even for confidential fund? San po napunta? yung informant at assets nyo, which you have been keeping in your safe houses from the last quarter of 2022 to the third quarter of 2023. Yun po ba inabandon ng OVP? Yun po ba biglang nag-disappear? I understand that you have no personal knowledge, but at least please give us a reasonable interpretation of what happened why suddenly in the last quarter of 2023 nawala ang maintenance ng safe houses which means nawala din ang informants at saka assets where did they go miss villa del rey I'm sorry, Your Honor, uh, I cannot answer the question since I don't have really knowledge of the utilization of the confidential fund. Attorney Sanchez? Your Honor, I'm, I also apologize, same as the answer of Mr. Ms. Villa del Rey, Your Honor. Mr. Kevin? Say, Mr. Chair, I have no knowledge or participation in the utilization of the confidential funds. Ms. Rabago? Say, Mr. Chair, I don't have a personal knowledge on the utilization of the confidential Ms. funds. Ms. Villa del Rey? Can you at least tell us who has the personal knowledge over these matters? Based on the JC and based on the issue one of cash advance, it is the special disbursing officer who is the accountable officer. Can you please cite the name of the special disbursing officer? As shown in the check, Your Honor, it is Miss Gina Acosta. And apart from Miss Gina Acosta, who else has personal knowledge? over these matters? I don't have idea, Your Honor. And you confirm that Gina Acosta, the special disbursing officer, whom you described earlier as confidential official with salary grade 24, 